So what are some of the benefits of chaga? It's one of the most powerful in prevention and detoxification of the human body. It has synergistic ingredients, as I mentioned, that are shown in scientific research to work very powerfully alone, and they should work even better synergistically, and studies are just beginning to be seen how these co uh, components work together. You have to understand, in Western medicine, People try to take things apart and find the one active ingredient and then isolate it, patent it, so it can be sold as a drug. That is the Western way of doing things. However, when you have so many active ingredients in a substance, then you can get perhaps many patents and you have to isolate all these separate ingredients. But I believe that nature likes to combine things together in a form of harmony with checks and balances. And that's what we want to achieve and something we put into our body. So this is actually a functional food. It's a, a special category we have within our government for foods. And I'll show you that because books have come out affirming this fact this uh, just last year. Uh, chaga is extremely powerful as an immune modulator and for giving protection, antioxidant protection against literally our rusting away from our body. That's what oxidation is, just like iron rusts. It's an adaptogen, so uh, that means it's a substance you can give again and again, and it adapts itself to the condition of the body. If something is overactive, then it tones it down. If something is underactive, it brings it up. And adaptogens, in terms of herbs, have always been used very safely over longer periods of time. We know now that uh, mel there's melanin in uh, Chaga and melanin repairs your DNA, and DNA is the structure for replication of the information in your cells. It's the sort of the, the hard drive of your cellular computer in the nucleus of the cell. So if that gets damaged, then the cell doesn't replicate itself. It can mutate and it can develop disease. Uh, also, it has great protection against radiation and xenobiotics. Xenobiotics are substances that are in the environment, pollutants and so forth, uh, that may be hormonal modulators, they may be chemicals that can cause bad diseases, and uh, therefore we want to be able to get rid of that with whatever process we do, and I think chaga plays a role here as well. Plus, it's been extremely safe. It's been used over four centuries by the uh, Siberians. They've drank it as a tea forever. And with modern technologies, we've been able to, I think, even get better extraction uh, using the extraction techniques that uh, Mr. Sugi has pioneered that make this such a unique product that differentiates it from just chaga powdered up and made into a tea as it's been done before. Because as you've heard, it's very critical that all the active ingredients can be properly extracted from the substance. So will it adver uh, adversely affect you like in this cartoons, you know? You've been messing around with alternative medicine again. Now you won't grow any leaves out of your hair or anything. It's simply something that helps, you know, you be more healthy. Is it safe? Well, we've not had any adverse reports of interactions with conventional uh, pharmaceutical agents. We know that it assists the body in its self-healing uh, response, which we always want to uh, encourage. It's an adaptogen. We call that a biological response modifier, as I already pointed out. It's even safe for children as a tea. But here is a piece of advice, that if you take uh, pharmaceutical drugs prescribed by your doctor, you really want to keep an eye on the medication dose because over time, this adaptogenic herb may actually assist you in healing yourself and then you may not need such a high dosage of the drug that was prescribed. So you really want to talk to your doctor about this and say, I'm taking this. If they don't understand it, they might want to educate themselves. Maybe you can bring them information about it. It is now found in the literature and this is the most exciting part about it. The literature says, and these are directly out of the scientific literature, numerous references to its immune enhancement properties, uh, protection against tumor formation in cell and animal studies, uh, antiviral protection, anti-inflammatory qualities. It seems to help in blood sugar balancing, antibacterial qualities. It uh, protects against radiation. I'll show you some of these studies to, to actually back up uh, these uh, uh, statements because they're simply taken from the uh, scientific literature, protecting the liver and repairing the DNA. 
And there are many, many people now who have studied uh, mushrooms. It's a, a very, very exciting field. It's been much more openly studied in the East, but now it's becoming more studied in the West. And many of these are people in America and other places who are now herbologists and medical doctors and PhD researchers and nutritionists who are using that. So there's many different types of medicinal mushrooms, but chaga is unique. It's part of the uh, Basidiomycetes family, uh, but as you can see here in the picture on the right, it's this very unusual woody polypore fungus that uh, chaga is, and it is unique and mentioned in many books, and these are three of the best ones that uh, perhaps I might introduce you to. Uh, the book by Christopher Hobbs from 1995 um, about uh, medicinal mushrooms, Paul Stamets' book of micro-medicinals, they all mention uh, chaga. And most interestingly, the latest book from last year from Peter Chung, Mushrooms as Functional Foods, has all the scientific literature. And if you just all got this book and brought this, to your medical uh, or healthcare provider and said, you know, do you want to understand the science behind mushrooms? It is as scientifically well researched as most of the drugs that they've learned about in medical school. So, these are some of the journals in which uh, these articles are published, and these are just 20 of them. Uh, journal of Mutation Research, the European Journal of Cancer, uh, Journal of Ethnopharmacology, the International Journal of Medicinal Mushrooms, Life Sciences Journal, Planta Medica, and so forth. There are many, many peer-reviewed articles now out that substantiate chaga, and these are just articles about chaga. In fact, there is now a, literally an accelerating research program going on all over the world with this mushroom.